some random thoughts of the day. When people say things are on fire, is fire on things? To your stomach, are all potatoes mashed potatoes? Did the chicken really cross the road? How is it that when you jump inside a moving train, you land on the same spot? Think about this. Where are the speakers for the doorbell? Where can you pray? Hmm. You can talk to God when you're at home, at school, at, uh, wait, let me see. You can also talk to God anywhere. In your room, by the kitchen door, and... <laughs> when can you pray? Maybe at night, before I go to bed. Um, I can pray before I go somewhere. Oh, oh, hold on. You can talk to God anytime. You can talk to God when you're in the shower. You can talk to God when you're at school or if you're at a baseball game or if you uh, are about to go to bed. You can talk to God anytime. Is there anywhere you can't pray? No, there's not anywhere I can't pray. No, you can pray anywhere. You can pray on your bed, in the car, at church, and even in the kitchen. I can talk to God anytime. Good morning, Citygate kids, and welcome to week number four of Hey God. I hope you guys have been enjoying this series. I know I have. I know we've, we've seen a lot of our friends in Citygate kids team get involved too, and it was so, so good. Hey, today, I want you to remember that we are learning that we can talk to God at any time. Say it with me. I can talk to God anytime. One more time. I can talk to God anytime. Do you know that you can talk to God whatever time of the day, wherever you are, whenever, and that's exactly what this series is all about. You know that you can turn to God 24 seven. It means like 24 hours, seven days a week, and 300 and how many days are there in a year? Is it 365 and a half? I, I think it is. <laughs> well, you can talk to God anytime, City Gate kids. For example, if your parents are away, um, if your parents are at work, and maybe you need um, like help with something, maybe you're not feeling very well, you know, you can just go to prayer right there and then and go, God, I am healed in Jesus' name. Thank you, God, that I am well. And you know, you can, you can do that at any time, any place, anywhere. Huh. We'll tell you more about that later. But I think right now, um, I'm going to show you a quick Bible story. So listen to this. Jesus had so many things that he wanted to do and people he wanted to see. Each day, no matter what was going on, he always took the time to pray and talk to his heavenly father. Mark tells us in his book in the Bible that Jesus got up early in the morning before anyone else when it was still dark and he talked to God. Jesus knew that this was the best thing he could do to start his day. Talking to God helped Jesus have peace and courage to do everything God wanted him to do. There were times when Jesus had big choices to make, like when he had to decide who his closest friends were going to be. And what he would do before he made his decision, he prayed. Are there ever times when you don't know what to do? 
you may wonder if you should still be friends with someone who hurt your feelings, or if you should give another sport a try. God can help you make the best choice. In fact, he wants to help you. So take the time and talk to him about it. Jesus talked with his heavenly father in the happiest of times, like when he got baptized. You can find this true story in Luke's book of the Bible. Luke says that Jesus was praying as he was lowered into the water. And when he came up, he heard God's voice talking to him. God said, you are my son and I love you and I am very pleased with you. God wants you to know how he feels about you too. No matter if you're celebrating a big win with your team or feeling down because you got left out of something with your friends, talk to God and listen to him. He loves you and he's going to say exactly what you need to hear right when you need to hear it. Jesus talked to God in the hard times too. Jesus knew that it was time for him to die on the cross so that he could take the punishment for all of the wrong things we do. He wanted to fix our friendship with God, but he was really sad about how it was going to happen. So Jesus talked to his heavenly father about that too. We can see from Jesus' example that we can talk to God anytime. If you're talking, God is listening. He doesn't have a bedtime because he never goes to sleep. So anytime you want to talk, he's ready. I can pray when I'm mad, when I'm worried, when I'm sad. I can pray anytime, day or night will be just fine. When I do, I close my eyes. Picture Jesus in my mind I can ask for what I need I can trust He's listening I won't worry about a thing I can tell my God Tell Him anything I'll ask and pray for what I
never be denied Cause we're stirring up Cause we're stirring up deep, deep wells We're stirring up deep, deep waters We're gonna dance in the river Dance in the river Cause we're stirring up deep, deep wells We're stirring up deep, deep waters We're gonna jump in the river
If words are misspelt in a dictionary, how would we ever know? Last time I watched Cinderella, I had this thought. If her shoe fit perfectly, how did it come off? When you think about it, clapping is hitting yourself when you're happy. But the real question is, and the real thought for today is, do fish drown? If humans can't see air, then fish can't see water. Wow. Hey City Gate kids, let's memorize this verse about prayer. Don't worry about anything. No matter what happens, tell God about everything. Ask and pray and give thanks to him. Philippians 4 verse 6. Don't worry about, no matter what happens, God about everything. Ask and, and give thanks to Philippians 4 verse. Don't worry about anything. No matter what happens, tell God about everything. Ask and pray and give thanks to him. Philippians 4 verse 6. Hey Citygate kids, we're going to play a quick game. I think you should all join in. We have letter cards and subject cards. The aim of the game is to make sure that you're the last person to say what the letter is. Are you ready? Make sure you join in. Let's play. Last word. The subject is places you can pray. And the letter is C. Uh, church. Cat food. The car. Canada. Ooh. <laughs> um. Cambodia. Croydon. Um, the cinema. Chair. Uh, ah. Hey, let's play round two. The subject is times that you can pray. The letter is wild card. Ah. That means we can use any letter. Washing in the bath. When you're sleeping. On the way to school. Uh, when you're in the car. Falling out of a plane. Uh, when you're sitting on a chair. Riding a dolphin. Uh, when you're running. In Burger King. Uh, when you're eating McDonald's. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> okay, we've got one point each, so it's the final round. The subject is things we can thank God for. And the letter is letter M. Um, for money. Mayonnaise. <laughs> for movies. Marmalade. <laughs> I win. Oh. One way to pray is to remember the letters in the word pray. P. Praise God and thank him for all the things he has done in your life. R. Repent. It's like a fancy word for saying you're sorry. It is telling God that you're going to stop doing the wrong things and start doing the things that he says is right. A. Ask. Ask God for whatever you need. Why? Yes. Say yes to whatever God says is best for you, even if it's not what you want.
Recap what we've learned today in exactly 10 words. No more, no less. Morning or evening, I can talk to God. He's listening. Anywhere I go, I know I can go to God. Anytime I pray, I know God hears what I say. Uh, hey God, I know that you are listening to me every time. That was 11. He's always there. I can pray any time of the... No, that's not right. He's always there. I can pray any time of the day. It's 10. I hope you guys enjoyed CityGate Kids today. Remember that I can talk to God any time. One more time. I can talk to God any time. We'll see you next week for week number five of Hey God! Have a fantastic day today, Citygate kids. We love you.